We'll begin today in the basketball-rich state of New Jersey to meet one of the best players in the 2019 class. That's this week's Star Shield five-star feature. Fans can always debate which state has the best prep basketball, and many states have great history. But New Jersey and Illinois both have the right to be near the very top. Khalil Whitney knows this well because he's played in both. He grew up in Chicago with his mother, but he moved near Newark to live with his father before his sophomore year. New Jersey basketball has a lot of talent. Chicago basketball has a lot of talent too, but they got, they got a lot of schools with a lot of not so talented kids, but they play hard all the time. Uh, that's the thing with Jersey school, they got a lot of talent, but all the guys don't play hard, but they got all the talent. For the past three seasons, Khalil's played for Roselle Catholic, not just one of the best programs in New Jersey, but in the nation. The Lions have won New Jersey's prestigious Tournament of Champions three times in the past six seasons. I mean, it's great. I mean, because a lot of people expect us to win every year. So, I mean, I, I just kind of got to come out with a chip on my shoulder every game and make sure we get the win. It's nothing like playing for a winning program because if you play a sport, the number one goal is supposed to win. So, I mean, we come out with the same attitude every game and we just try to win every game. We've been very fortunate at Roselle Catholic to have tremendous success over the last, you know, probably eight years or so. Um, having won four state championships, uh, three tournament of champions, titles in New Jersey, which means you're the number one team in the state at the end of the year. Tremendous group of players that have come through here. So it's, uh, it's been an exciting, exciting ride the last eight or so years. I remember when he came on his visit with dad, you know, I just was impressed immediately with, you know, he's got basically the perfect body to play basketball. You know, 6'6", six, six, he's long, he's athletic, uh, he can shoot it, he can do all the different things that you want to do. So from the moment I met him, uh, I was pretty sure that he was going to have a great career here. It turns out the coach was right. Khalil has helped Roselle win a lot of games, including a Tournament of Champions title last year. A versatile six foot six inch wing player, Khalil has seen his recruiting ranking steadily rise over the last year or two. He's now a top 10 overall prospect for 2019 and a McDonald's All-American. Khalil's rise, I think, is, is based really just on the hard work that he's put in. You know, I mean, as soon as the season was over, he was back in the gym, you know, working out at, in the evenings with his trainer, working out with his dad, and I think everybody in our program always believed he was, you know, should be a top 20 kid, if not a top 10 kid. Uh, I bring pretty much everything, energy, anything my coach need me to bring. I'm like the second coach, um, I'm helping guys with the plays, letting guys know where to go, trying to be a leader, uh, and just being aggressive. When it comes to me playing basketball, I feel like I don't have a position. I mean, I can get pretty much anything done on the court. The first thing that people see with Khalil, if you're watching highlight videos or stuff, is the athleticism is off the charts. You know, I mean, he's one of the premier athletes in, in the country, but you know, he really has a, a diverse skill set. He shoots it well, he handles it, he can get to the rim, shoots it well from the foul line, can shoot it off the dribble. I always say to him, he's one of the few guys in the state of New Jersey that can score at all three levels. While Khalil is still proud to be from Chicago and calls his mom every day to stay in touch, he believes the move to New Jersey has been important in his development. The constant training and film study with his dad have helped him take his game to another level. Uh, this is the level half of the game. Uh, me and my dad study all this. He makes me study the game all the time. Uh, I watch film myself, I watch film with my teammates, I watch film with Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, all the great players, LeBron James. When I watch those type of players and study the game, it kind of come, comes naturally. My dad is great. He's always on me about the things I need to do to be successful, if that's on the court or off the court. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of people got parents that only on them about basketball. But my say for instance, my dad, my dad is great at home. Uh, he's a person telling me the things I need to do to be successful. Khalil is verbally committed to the Kentucky Wildcats. He sees the opportunity to play for John Calipari as the best path for him to reach that ultimate goal of the NBA. It would mean the world, uh, be able to take take care of my family and. You know, how my family not want anything or need anything for the rest of their lives. It would be amazing. I think he's pretty much a basketball-focused kid. You know, that seems to be the, the majority of the stuff that, that he and I talk about. He just loves the game of basketball. He watches all the games on TV, you know, watches the NBA games, watches the college games. He's constantly trying to look at what other guys are doing where he can improve his game. So he's kind of basketball-obsessed, I would say. I can say I'm really tunnel vision. I'm a focused guy. When I got my mind set on the goal, 
I'm gonna do my best to go get it. A lot of people get distracted. I don't think I'm like the average teenager, you know? A lot of people go party and a lot of people drink and all that. I mean, I'm pretty tunnel vision. Uh, I keep my mind focused on the goal and I try to get it done. His ceiling is whatever he chooses it to be. You know, every time he continues to work, his ceiling gets higher and higher. So he's gonna be as good a player and as successful a basketball player as he chooses to be. And right now his work ethic is, is as good as I've seen. And that means that, you know, pretty much the sky's the limit for him.